if we have a mission and we believe in it, is, it, is that important enough to do some things that will make people uncomfortable so that we can follow that mission? And that doesn't just mean about money. On Summit, they have a very, uh, what they even they will admit is a grandiose strategic plan which has as one of its major components that they're going to change the world. <laughs> and they have metrics, including how many people are going to show up to uh, tutor. And they, my colleague, stands up on Sunday morning and says, we said we were going to do this. We're 15 tutors short. We need to have them by the end of today. I mean. That's right in your face, and there's real discomfort about that. So I'm, it's not just about money, uh, but the congregation decided to hold people's feet to the fire, and they've decided to do that about money in, in some ways too, although someone is much less shy about, about recognizing significant gifts. The largest gift, annual gift there is 100,000 a year, and they're not shy about, and the second is 50,000 a year, and they're not shy about saying that and recognizing it. And they've been very successful, in fact, in getting that extra 30,000 and 40,000 a year, and they do it shamelessly, by some measures, by saying, there are people in this congregation who have the capacity to give that extra money. If we need $30,000 extra, we're going to get it by one $30,000 gift. And the rest of you need to fall in line and, and wake up. In, in Summit, there was a call to the congregation. We expect 100 of you to show up in the sanctuary on Tuesday night to be part of that vigil. We expect that. And names will be taken. I mean, the number will be there. And the metric will be recorded in, in the system. So all, all I'm saying is there are, if you have a vision and you want to quantify it, it isn't just about money.